Hutchinson on the out route. That's complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there, a 22. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. To throw again on second down, Herbert. A right side catch by Crabtree. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to them in open space and let them do what they do. Herbert. The quick slant caught. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. Now Herbert got to get him to the line in a hurry. Back to throw. On oh, a bad time late for a poor throw. It's intercepted. Brandon Jones picking it off, and the Dolphins have... for the Cowboys getting set to go on first and ten. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. He gets it left side to Johnson. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 35-yard line. Now it's Herbert. Again, it's Johnson. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. I like that one, partner. They go back-to-back -back with excellent gains. And really, it shouldn't be a surprise who they were throwing the ball to. He's their best guy. Yeah, we knew that they would get him involved early. They're doubling down on getting him involved early. Don't be surprised if they'll come right back to him again. They haven't shown the propensity to be able to stop him. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Herbert operating from the red zone. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, nice defensive effort there, providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver. Separates him from the catch, and normally he's a sure-handed target. To throw once more on second and 10. Herbert, and yeah, that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Mike Ditka, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Cowboys go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. strategy now when I talk with coaches and when we sit with them they always talk about they actually have two point periods in practice now something they never really did before and he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further 
The Dolphins offense now heads back on the field. And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted. So you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send down the field goal unit, and then to not even see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Got to pick themselves up from that one. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Damn. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now Tua. And it's intercepted. I think this is a situation where a quarterback coach in the sideline is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. Dallas offense set for this next drive. But what do you think? You get the ball off the turnover near the middle of the field. You take a shot here in the first play? You know I'm big on that. I love when I have great field position. After a turnover, I feel like I might have a little bit off balance. I prefer to take a shot, but a lot of coaches will tell you, you only do it if you trust the guy who's got the football in his hand. Meaning, if it's not there, he won't force it downfield and maybe turn it into an interception. They'll go to the check down, go to a second option, and go ahead and take the play that's in front of him. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Looking to throw, Herbert. Got it complete to Crabtree. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. Back to throw, Herbert. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Looking to throw, Herbert, and that was going to be off target and incomplete. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. They snap it to Herbert. That one complete to Okoye. And unable to break away, they stop him a few yards shy. Mike McCarthy took the gamble, didn't pay off. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Looking to pass. Tua. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. Two are going to try and go quickly here. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll be fourth down. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. Now a timeout called for by the offense. So they take a big, big chance here in their own territory. And you think the coach may have some questions to answer? Yeah, and you know, normally we focus on the media, right? The social media barrage that he's going to get for this one. How about on his own sideline and in his locker room? Yeah. Because I think the team's going to look at my coach. Well, why would we go for it there? I mean, no confidence in the defense. You don't like the punter. I mean, what's going on here? You owe us some explanations. On second and ten, the ball back with Herbert. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, there you have it, another challenge and another victory. Now, remember, you can always replay challenges if you left any stars on the table. And now the 
the offense getting set first and ten. Back to throw. Herbert. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 27. Operating from the gun, Herbert. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown, Cowboys. Mike Ditka with his second touchdown of the night. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from taking the lead. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, but <laughs> offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up when we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes. That's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far and fun to watch. to the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21 yard line. Miami set to take over. And they've got to be a little bit frustrated about that last drive, missed field goal. Always hurts a team because, you know, you've put something out there, you've given yourself a chance, you're in range, and the ball doesn't go through the post. But it's not something to panic about, I don't believe. Just keep playing and keep going. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I could dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Derek Johnson. The offensive line is in tatters as that's now three sacks and three plays. Tua on fourth down. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. And he's not able to get away. He has stopped well, well short of a first down. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. The busy night continues for Williams. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. 74 yards on the ground for him so far. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Here's Herbert. He's got a man. It's his fullback. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. They're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll run it with Williams. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ricky Williams, his second touchdown of the night as his guys are able to extend their lead. Nice execution there. Good job by the O-line getting him in for the second time. And you always have to start with credit there when you're having a big game. I mean, you don't get there by yourself. That's rare. But how about the ability to see the proper holes, pick the proper place to go, and find his way into the end zone? And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. So they go with the pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts, passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational. You have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. 
you really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Going to look deep for Wilson. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well done. You've defeated this ultimate challenge. Now, if there are stars still available, you can always replay the challenge again. Otherwise, it's time to move on. Welcome, everybody. I'm the coach. Up next, another ultimate challenge on EA Sports. And the Broncos getting ready to go on first and 10. Play action. Now Wilson. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Derek Johnson. And the Packers are going to take possession of the football. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? Herbert on first down now. And yeah, that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Uh, the quarterback got away with one there. Looked like he was in line for a pick, but instead it's knocked harmlessly to the turf. On second and ten, Herbert. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, after incompletions on first and second down, it certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. This is caught. It's Crabtree. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now a handoff. Here's Williams. And a stiff arm made it a pretty little run. Not a huge gain, but a nice chunk of yardage. A good run. Eight yards there, and it'll be second and goal. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Keyshawn Johnson there to make the grab. And the Packers are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. And that is caught for the two points. So they're able to throw it in for the two-point conversion. Sometimes that can be a risky play, but they got it. Yeah, you always have to be careful here because if you do get it intercepted, it's returned by the defense. That's two points for them, but he identified an open target and put it right on it. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. 
From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. And coming out now, the Broncos. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal is not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Wilson. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. On fourth down, Sam Martin is on to punt for the Broncos. Fielded just inside the 30. A great blocking nearly sprung in there. 28-yard return. And the Packers will have a short field to work with here as they take over first and 10. On first down, Justin Herbert. This is brought in by Casper. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Setting up to throw on first down. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Second and ten. Here's Herbert once more. Touchdown, Packers. Keyshawn Johnson. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. Herbert try and throw for it, and he's got it. So the try for two successful, and that bumps their lead up even further. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes the return. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same. Broncos football as we begin quarter number two. As they've got it second and seven. There's Wilson to throw. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. On third down, Wilson. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Nice job there getting the win. Next up, another challenge, of course.